Now let us talk about the concept of graft rejection. Now when we talk about plastic surgery, what is the most common cause of graft rejection? Now this is a very simple and a straightforward question. Whenever you place a graft, it is in between the graft and the recipient bed, a lot of molecules, inflammatory molecules get deposited. And do you know this is the time when there may be local hematoma also. So you have to understand that hematoma, hematoma under the graft, hematoma under the graft is the most frequent cause of graft rejection. The second is sepsis. Now this is about the graft rejection. When we talk about the flap rejection, you know flap, it is the most common cause is vascular compromise. So when we talk about vascular compromise, so graft, it is the hematoma. We have the answer. But when we talk about the flap, because the other options, one of the option is the mecha is mechanical disruption, one is uh, sepsis, one is vascular compromise. So vascular compromise can be arterial and it can be venous. So how do you get to know just by looking at the color, the arterial is pale, the venous is dark because it is engorged with the blood. Then if you talk about the temperature, less blood, so cool, more blood, so warm. So color temperature what else is important students what else the next is we have we have one very important thing that is the feel the feel the arterial is having less blood so it is flaccid it is having flaccid and this is this is tense the next thing is capillary refill time if you talk about the capillary refill time this is increase in case of arterial and decrease in case of venous so the answer if it was a flap then it would have been vascular compromise otherwise it is hematoma under the graft and this is what is the most common cause of graft rejection after sepsis after this it's the sepsis